coming. Hey guys, Robert here with Coastal GX. Again, get up, get out, do something. And today we're gonna get up, get out, and test this thing right here. It's the Spitty Belt. It's like a anchor. There's, I'll, I'll put the proper name of it over here, the product name. But let me tell you how I got this. This thing is supposed to help you get out of a stuck situation if you are. I guess out in the middle of nowhere there's, there's there are no trees or anchor points but you do have a winch and you can't winch yourself out of a situation some other people call it a pull pal I mean there, there's different types of, uh, of uh, devices out there I guess this one uh, I'm not getting sponsored or anything this one I bought off a viewer and a long time ago and I just haven't gotten around to testing it out but I'm out here at the island with my wifey and I said you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out you know with my winch I just have really no way of getting my truck stuck maybe if I dug some holes and put it in there but I'm not gonna do that I just want to see what the resistance does I guess out in the sand my vehicle is full-time 4x4 so it's almost impossible to to get it stuck in the sand to be honest with you I'm not bragging it's the truth all right it comes with this pack in this bag right here okay it is a heavy thing. The cool thing is that it is kind of slim. Once it breaks down, it is slim. So I can fit it like in between my refrigerator and my drawers. Uh, but let's see if it's even worth bringing out to the beach, okay? So you got this cloud like looking thing right here, all right? Then what else comes in here? Looks like a handle. This bar right here with a bow shackle. Let me go ahead and see if I can figure out how to put this together. Like I said, I've never used this thing. So let's see what's up. Let's see if I can fit this here. This pin. All right. That there. Supposed to be further? I don't know. It came off once. So anyway, it's got two more pins on this side. I'm assuming that's going to be with this bar right here. It's still not lined up. That's just fine. There you go. Good job, honey. Okay. I really couldn't see this thing. My angle. So it's got this pin. And then there's, there's these three positions here so there's this one like the bottom one I'm assuming that they represent different positions for a different reason to have a different pitch on this thing right here okay so as you can see there's one two and then three I'm gonna be using this one let's see what happens with this one right here. I'm going to move this as far as I can that way. And then I'm going to attach the winch uh, synthetic rope to it and then uh, see if it works from that angle. See if it will actually dig it out. find a real good video that I guess explained anything with this particular model so that's what you know uh, inspired me to do the actual video so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect my my winch and see what I can do from this one I'm gonna use my Rhino USA soft shackle guys if you don't have your Rhino USA gear get it today I'll have it in my my uh, description, video description, I have some links, and of course you can use Coastal GX as a discount code. So here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let go of the clutch, and I'm gonna go ahead and just pull, oh, 
I pull out my wrench. Just take it all the way up. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect my soft shackle. I'm going to go ahead and get the remote because I'm trying to see if I can do this as a one-man operation. Let's go ahead and just get my Iron Man controller, wireless, the cordless controller. Now I'm going to engage my clutch. Okay, let me see if it's working right there. Yep. Now let's go test it out. Okay, so let me give you an update. What I did was a little pitch, I guess the little blade right here. Come and see this. This little blade right here. I turned it upside down, okay, I loosened this up and I moved this front blade, okay, I readjusted this, uh, and of course I have the truck in neutral, and thank God I got my cordless set up right here, because this would be something a little more realistic, so I'm going to have to put the pitch down right here, and uh, let's get to it. a YouTube video this would be it. let it go see what happens <laughs> oh my god how about at this angle the truck's not moving oh it's got some resistance there the truck is coming to us. The truck is coming to us. Oops. 
basically just found a spot that it liked. I gotta let the the winch rest for a little bit. The truck is on, but still, you know, gotta make sure that the winch is not working too hard. So at this point, I'm letting it go still. Now we're gonna give it another try. Now look at this spot right here. Look at how it is buried. So, and look at the angle. So I don't really think the angle matters much. I think it kind of like kind of corkscrewed its way down there and just found a spot that it liked and it just dug in. Ready? Let's do this again. Hit it! rest a little bit yeah I guess it kind of works it all depends on what the terrain's gonna be I would imagine that if you're at a different type of terrain maybe you'll be a little more lucky to have it still it's better than nothing and if you got the space I guess in your vehicle why not why not carry it am I gonna carry it not out here at the island not for me but here we go again Truck's moving. Truck's moving. And this is still kind of solid. Still resisting. Okay, 4% battery. By the way, what, I, what am I using? I'm using a 12,000 pound Iron Man winch, all right? With an Iron Man bumper, okay? Let's do it again. Ah, uh, look at that. No more, she says. So it's coming over. I'm gonna call it quits right there, all right? But anyway, what do you think? Would you get the Smitty built thing? You think it could work for you? I've looked around. It's like, I don't know, man. They're selling like uh, for almost 200 bucks. If you are interested and you're available for pickup here in McAllen, you can always pick it up. Just send me a message. <laughs> I'll give it to you cheap. How about that? All right. Thank you, guys.